I believe God is awakening people around the world to love. I think um, there have been several testimonies recently that have been very encouraging as people are waking, both within the church and outside. Fantastic testimony that I saw of um, the guy in South Africa who was the founder of the South African Satanic Church who found relationship with God through unconditional love. Um, that was an amazing testimony. And I think that's just the tip of the iceberg. So I do believe that more and more people are going to be awakened. Therefore, they will be more enlightened and that will bring about some changes. I also see that people will also become more aware of the things that aren't in alignment with God's kingdom. And therefore, they may be more protests. There may be more people who see the answers aren't going to be found in politics or in other other worldly things. Um, and I do think things are being shaken and people's trust in things are being shaken. So they put their trust in the only thing you can trust in, which is the thing that can't be shaken, which is the kingdom of God, and obviously in our relationship with God. So I think people are awakening to love. Now I see more and more people awakening. That is not necessarily in the traditional religious view only. I think people are awakening to love and don't really know who love is yet, but they will eventually find that. But I think God's at work. And I think that's the key. So my view is that the kingdom of God will fill the earth, it may appear to th things get worse because when darkness is exposed, then it appears worse. But actually, the light always overcomes the darkness. So I think that things will increasingly get better and better. But it depends on what perspective you look at. And of course, there are so many opinions and different views about this because of their programmed view of the future and their eschatology of the future. Different things contradict maybe the what they see and what they think the bible says and there's it's, it's a bit of a, a mess when it comes to looking at the future so for me i believe god's purposes will be restored god will eventually restore all things i do believe that creation will be set free from its bondage to corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of god therefore our sonship is important in all this therefore we must have a godlike view we must be freely loving as we've been loved we need to be demonstrating love. Jesus said, it's by your love for one another, the world will know you're my disciples. I think that is not really happening in the world as it should be. Too much division, conflict within Christians themselves, let alone the rest of the world. So we need to start changing that towards how we view other people and how we're willing to operate in love ourselves. We've been forgiven, let's forgive. We've been loved, let's love. Now, love is not just a sentimental feeling it's the choice to put someone else first and want the best for them so i would basically look at if we're going to see a better future then our involvement in that is absolutely vital as sons of god because god wants us to bring fruitfulness and his government and peace to the earth and i believe that will take place but on the surface you might not see everything that's going on under the surface there's a lot of things going on in heaven right now that are preparation for what will happen on earth eventually you may not see that but those that are seeing the things that are happening in in the heavenly realms and the earth shield those who are legislating and governing in sonship actively getting more and more involved in the things of heaven then i do believe that from heaven the kingdom will be established on earth so i'm very positive very optimistic but I'm also realistic in that I'm not triumphalistic. It's not just, I mean, it won't just happen because Jesus will come back and wave a magic wand and it will all be sorted. He's using us. We are his body on earth. We are his children, his sons. Therefore, it's through us that the kingdom of God will be filling the earth. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.